Acetaminophen is also called paracetamol. And it is a popular and widely available over-the-counter analgesic and antipyretic drug. Analgesic is a drug that relieves pain and uh, the antipyretic is a drug that reduces fever. Now, before moving to the metabolism of uh, acetaminophen, first let me just explain the phases of uh, the drug metabolism, which are essential to understand what exactly the metabolism of acetaminophen is. So, when a drug enters our body, the ultimate goal of our body is to make it hydrophilic. So, by making it hydrophilic, what a body will do is that it will make the drug more soluble in water so that it will be easy for it to get eliminated from the body. Now, to do so, there are two phases of the drug metabolism which our body performs. They are phase 1 metabolic reactions, drug metabolism reactions. and the phase 2 drug metabolism reactions. In the phase 1 drug metabolism reactions, the reactions which usually take place are the oxidation, reduction and the hydration reactions. So what basically happens in this phase is that the uh, there are some certain groups on present on the drug which gets exposed so that the phase 2 uh, reactions can occur accordingly to that uh, uh, group that has been exposed now. The phase 2 reactions will further lead on to the conjugation reactions. So what basically happens in phase 2 drug metabolism reactions is that uh, the conjugation of the drug takes place so that it becomes more hydrophilic and ultimately gets uh, eliminated from the body. Now talking about the metabolism of uh, acetaminophen. So this is the acetaminophen molecule which have an acetyl group present on this position, the para position. When this acetaminophen enters our body, about 90% of it gets converted into its sulfate conjugates and glucuronide conjugates. The sulfate conjugates are formed by the action of sulfotransferases on them, which leads to the conjugation of sulfate group with the acetaminophen. And glucuronide conjugates are formed by the action of the enzyme UDP glucuronacyl transferase, which attaches the glucuronide group to the acetaminophen molecule. These conjugations result in increased hydrophilicity. This increased hydrophilicity of the drug molecules are now able to be more soluble in water and hence they can be easily eliminated out of the body. Also, about 5% of the drug is directly eliminated from the body via urine. However, about 5% of the drugs gets converted into the toxic form of acetaminophen, which is NAPQI, that is N acetyl parabenzoquinonamine. Now, this happens through the enzyme cytochrome P450 monooxygenase systems, which are the enzyme components of the phase 1 reactions. However, this NAPQI combines immediately with glutathione to form a non toxic mercaptide conjugate which can be eliminated from the body. Now, if there is a acetaminophen overdose, what happens? When there is an overdose of acetaminophen, the glutathione stores are depleted. Why this happens? Because if there will be more of acetaminophen, there will be more of uh, NAPQI, which will lead to more of the conjugation of glutathione with it to make it eliminated from the body. This is because the rate of utilization of glutathione exceeds its rate of formation. And hence, there is depletion of glutathione stores in the body. If the glutathione levels fall below 30% of the normal, the highly reactive NAPQI can bind instead to the cellular macromolecules that contain steam. And this toxic form will lead to the injury to cells. And 